Hey, yo, what's good, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. If you this, if you see this spot, you know what it is. You know what day it is. Eh? Like you know what it is. All right, it's a rest day. Uh, felt kind of exhausted and not ready, not recovered enough to do a back day. Uh, just that it's uh, it will be a pull day. Yesterday we did a push day, but I uh, mean, just not recovered enough. A little bit of soreness in there and we decided to make this the rest day and then tomorrow uh, we might uh, superset not superset we might do a push and pull uh, it's still supersetting a push and pull uh, that is uh, back and shoulders uh, that is if uh, we have good enough time but rest day in it all right so today we're going to investigate uh, uh, the cause of most gym injuries. Um, I'm going to show you a video. It's running over there, like someone was running on a treadmill. And then, because they were not paying attention, I mean, they fell. Because uh, when we asked them, yo, I, I was doing the rope uh, by, by the side. And then I asked them, like, yo, what happened? They said I was running while closing my eyes. And then that's how I ran off, missed my step, and then almost fell down I had, I had a little bit of quick reaction but then uh by the time my reflex were i mean like uh picking up the person was already down but uh good enough they didn't get so much injuries we get back to you uh let's say uh, you come to the gym uh you've got, learned how to use the treadmill or you've learned how to use a machine or you've learned how to do lunges to avoid injuries and accidents that can happen while, you, while you're working out, uh, uh, I'm going to emphasize mostly paying attention. Like, let's say you're on the treadmill. I mean, if you have a colleague you're running with or a friend or a workout partner uh, for gym terminologies, uh, someone you're running with, instead of... Uh, uh, looking out to see what speed they're on, just focus on what you're doing. I mean, you can discuss that later, but uh, what led to that was because someone was not paying attention. They decided to close their eyes so that time runs out fast. I mean, even if you close your eyes, time won't be running out fast. So, I mean, just keep active, uh, stay, uh, look at where you're going, do not miss your step, and. It's not like you're on the road, you're going to, you have to see cars, but I mean, just keep uh, your guard up. Now, don't look anywhere else, just focus on the rail, on the tread, like where you're running from on the mill, and you're good to go. And you won't be seeing anything like that. Uh, let's get back to the other thing, uh, not taking precaution. Uh, the next video is for my bro, uh, who I work out with, who are doing squats, um, and then he failed the rep, but because uh, we did have uh, the safety bars, I've talked about safety bars in a lot of videos. Like uh, when you go to the squat track, there are those bars. Sometimes there are ropes. Uh, I've seen ropes. There are belts where you can the, you can drop the weight. Uh, sometimes, depending on the situation, you can just drop it or you can just rest it there. Uh, but I wouldn't emphasize dropping. If you're still in control, you can just rest it there. Maybe if the situation is different, you've lost control, that's when you drop it and then run out. But in, in such a case, uh, you just have to rest the weight down uh, to make sure that no one is hurt. Sometimes you can drop the weight and then someone who's spotting you gets injured in the process. So, I mean, uh just be cautious when you're using the safety safety measures around there are still safety measures but in the process you can still get injured or someone spotting you injured or someone just from the side getting injured so take precaution uh, uh keep note of the safety measures and then just be cautious uh, you could just drop a weight when you uh, don't know that someone is there. Uh, this comes back to people who do dumbbell presses and then they just 
let uh, the dumbbells fall down. A dumbbell could just roll and then go hit someone's ankle, I mean, or fall on someone's toes. So it all goes back to being careful when you're at the gym. Pay attention uh, to the, your environment. And um, yeah, That's, those are two. And then the next one is um, having a spotter or not caring to have a spotter. When you walk to the gym, I understand we have our pride. Uh, some people don't want to associate with others uh, because, I don't know, it's just pride, but it's not a good thing. When you come to a gym environment, uh, this is part of gym culture, um, greet the people around. Uh, you don't have to make it a long conversation, but uh, just give them, give, them a, give them a knock or give them a nod. I mean, in here or around here, we, we respect the nod. If someone gives you a nod, I mean, that is a salute. I respect you. I respect you, bro. I mean, so give them a nod. Uh, that's when you, you don't have a spotter. So in this case, uh, when you're lifting and you need a spot, uh, they'll come to your rescue. Maybe you've heard this. You've heard a rep. They'll come to your rescue. But uh, let's have a scenario where you just came in with your earbuds. You didn't greet anyone. Uh, you just started working out. You did your warm-up. I mean, in case you get an accident, I don't want them to act like that, but in most cases, they, they might not be there to help you. They might be like, yo, dude just walked in. I didn't say anything to us. I mean, all right. you just have to be uh, a little bit social. Cut, uh, cut down on the pride. When you go to the gym or you're new to the place, just greet people, the people around and then get back to your workout. But then you come to the gym, uh, you have your earbuds on your AirPods because they're still new. I'm not hurting. Because they're still new, uh, you don't greet anyone, you just um, move out, go to the gym, crush your workout. So I'm not saying you'll get accidents all the time or you'll fail a set, but in case you fail a set, I mean, these guys, you did say hi to you, be like, yo, bro, let me come help you, let me come help you. Something like that. So uh, I wouldn't call it like putting on headsets, but I'll call it, I mean, Pride. Is there another lighter word to use? I don't see any. But just be social. That will help you at the gym. I mean, it also helps you to fit in the community. In the gym community. All right, number three. Oh, this is number four. Uh, number four is going to be ego lifting. Uh, is the number one cause of gym injuries, I think. Ego. Because, I mean, we want to be seen as, as the strongest guy at the gym. I mean, I, don't, I do not still have that. But when I just started working out, I mean, people used to take pride in being the strongest. And, I mean, it's a good thing. But then it leads to a little bit of unhealthy competition. Let's say the strongest guy can def, deadlift a 200. Uh, uh, what, is that a four, four something in LBs? but can deadlift 200 kgs. And then the next guy uh, who wants to challenge them. But let me tell you something. Uh, when you're working out, adding up just five kgs can take you a year. Uh, okay, a year might be too much, but can take you some good time. Uh, let's give you, uh, let me be realistic, like adding, adding 10 kgs to a 200 deadlift. It'll it will take you some time because, I mean, you have to first add maybe a 1-1, one, one, see how it goes, then add a 2-2-2, two, 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 see how it goes. But if your max is really 200, uh, really stepping up the weight will take you some time. So you don't have to go into any kind of unhealthy competition just because you want to challenge someone on the bench, on the deadlift, uh, maybe on the squat. Take it slow. Give yourself time you'll get there. Trust me, I stayed on a hundred on the bench. I stayed on a hundred like for a full year before I was able to step up on weight. So just give yourself some time. Make sure you're resting enough 
and in case you want to attempt something have a spotter in case you need a spotter that's uh, for bench because we don't want those weights crashing on you and then basically that's it that's what i thought of today uh first of all be careful pay attention uh be present see notice your environment and then say greet the people around in case uh you need spotting they'll be there to spot you uh don't lift because of ego keep it healthy in there and yeah basically that's it what did i say what the third one was i think that's it uh all right guys that has been it for today's video uh we keep it rest i mean it was completely resting uh i did move a bit around but i had to train people as well and then baby fell sick we had to go to the hospital and then come back around but basically that was it complete rest day we try again tomorrow peace out love you all just keep note of those things i've talked about and let's keep this thing healthy gym culture peace out love you again